Let's talk a little bit about jargon. Uh, correctness of given naming scheme, so using uh, terms BIOS, UFI, EFI, UFI BIOS, uh, is subject to some deba debate, even some small controversy. Um, so what we have to know is that all major industry players uh, from the computer system supply chain typically use BIOS name as a uh, name for every bootstrap firmware for the computer systems. Uh, Microsoft uh, seemed to promote term UFI. Uh, Apple uh, most, mostly use term EFI, but uh, in security documentation, they uh, make sure that uh, the term is already UFI, which is like a modern uh, correct name of this specification. Uh, we can also agree that in typically firmware that provide functionality of old BIOS, so uh, interrupts uh, some legacy compatibility, is called legacy BIOS. But platform initialization and unified extensible firmware interface specification compatible firmware implementations are sometimes called UFI BIOS or just UFI. Uh, so can we say, can we really say that UFI replaced BIOS. It seems that no, but we can say that UFI and PI compliant firmware implementations replaced previous BIOS implementations. So during this presentation, just to avoid this confusion, any, any term like UFI BIOS and UFI BIOS are used interchangeably. And also please note that if you're looking at UFI and PI specification, you can still find EFI acronym, especially in the diagrams, in the graphics. Uh, but uh, of course, that, so that those are just not updated one and you have to assume they mean uh, UFI in this case.